Dr. Jonathan Moore, Professor, Simon Fraser University, and the Departments of Biological Sciences, as well as Resource and Environmental Management. I'm an aquatic ecologist, and so I study wet ecosystems with particular focus on the watersheds that salmon call home. So my team and I, we call ourselves the Salmon Watersheds Lab, and we study uh, these ecosystems, how they work, how they're changing, and how we can steward them. These ecosystems do have a lot of pressures, they have a lot of challenges, and they don't really have a voice. And so as a scientist, what I try to do with my team and collaborators is try to understand these pressures and then try to you know, bring that information to light and have that information feed into hard decisions and important decisions, and sometimes it's controversial. And so over the years, we've worked on um, you know, different pressures, whether it's mining or forestry or large industry developments. You know, hopefully our science has helped clarify these challenges and help point a path forward. One of the things that I'm really motivated about is really thinking about climate change and what do we do about it. Climate change is this enormous global threat, but the fact is that most conservation and management decisions are made locally. I think there's real urgent need for science that looks to the future and, and says, okay, these systems are changing, these places that we live are changing, these resources that we need, they're changing, what do we do about it? And so I have a series of projects that's trying to do this type of forward-looking science that can then sort of inform and catalyze and inspire forward-looking action. So for example, uh, the ocean's rising with sea, with sea level rise and climate change, and that's, um, you know, gonna inundate a lot of coastal marshlands and wetlands. And so I'm in a big collaborative project where we're looking into the future and asking ourselves, well, how can nearby habitat be restored so that the whole system can adapt and migrate with that sea level rise? And then another um, sort of similar veined or themed project is thinking about glacier retreat. And so glaciers are retreating and salmon are actually finding these new habitats as the glaciers march up these river valleys. And so then the question is, well, how do we steward these habitats? Even if they don't have hold salmon now, how do we make sure they're protected as important options for the future? So I think this type of work is really critical and urgent now to look for those opportunities for proactive conservation, proactive management for a resilient future. You know, the health of these systems is linked to our own well-being. And so I'm really motivated to do work that links into that, that tries to sort of help um, chart a course forward into the future. My vision is to work towards thriving watersheds for salmon and people. And I think if we can get that right, we can get a lot of things right. And so I'm hopeful and that my work has taken us towards that direction in some ways. Uh, maybe the waters are a little cleaner in some places. Maybe there's more fish for future generations in some places. Maybe there's more habitat for salmon to use into this uncertain future.